Danielle Luca Vittori became the youngest test cricketer in New Zealand's history when he made his debut in 1997 at the age of 18. With his floppy hair, boyish looks and spectacles, it did not take cricket fans long to come up with a nickname, Harry Potter. Little did fans know then that Vittori would weave his own wizardry on the cricket pitch for the next 18 years. Unlike his contemporaries Warren and Mully Duran, who were famous for troubling batsmen with their prodigious turn, Vittori was a very different bowler. A left-arm spinner in the classical mould, Vittori probed batsmen with his line and length and relied on variations in flight and pace to deceive batsmen. One of the deadliest weapons in Vittori's armoury was the in-swinging arm ball that fizzed onto the stumps or struck the batsman's pads plumb in front of the wicket. A prime example is his dismissal of English batsman Darren Maddy at the Oval Test match in 1999. Having bowled a couple of deliveries breaking away from Maddy, Vittori slipped in his arm ball which clattered onto the off stump. Vittori ended up with 705 international wickets, overtaking Sir Richard Hadd to become the most successful bowler ever from New Zealand. What makes Vittori's success all the more remarkable is that he played most of his games in New Zealand, where the green pitches, overcast conditions and moisture are not as conducive to spin as the dust bowls of the subcontinent or the sun-baked pitches of Australia. Vittori was also a handy batsman down the order. He scored 4,531 test match runs, including six centuries and 23 half centuries. True to his Harry Potter moniker, Vittori wielded the willow like a wand, capable of playing the ball late and angling the ball into the gaps between fielders. He put a premium on his wicket, making him hard to dismiss, and he was someone around whom the lower order often rallied to rescue New Zealand's fragile top order. Vittori remains one of the only three cricketers to have attained the double of 300 test wickets and 4,000 test runs, the others being Kapil Dev and Ian Botham. Vittori took over the New Zealand captaincy from Stephen Fleming at a turbulent time for the national side. With seasoned veterans such as Fleming and Chris Cairns retiring and top bowlers Shane Bond and Daryl Tuffy joining the Rebel Indian Cricket League, Vittori led an inexperienced team through some tough series. Under Vittori's captaincy, New Zealand won only six tests in three years. He achieved better results in ODIs, leading his team to the Champions Trophy final in 2009 and the World Cup semi-final in 2011 before stepping down from the post. In later years, Vittori was plagued by injuries, but he still managed to return for the 2015 World Cup for one last hurrah, taking 15 wickets to help New Zealand reach the final. Vittori also took the catch of the tournament, Fielding at third man, he leapt backwards to complete a spectacular one-handed catch to dismiss Marlon Samuels in the quarter-final. Victory in the final would have given Vittori a befitting farewell, but it proved a step too far. He retired from international cricket shortly after the loss to Australia. At one point, Daniel Vittori was arguably the most powerful man in New Zealand cricket, their leading bowler, a reliable batsman, captain and even one of the team selectors. However, he performed all those roles with humility and grace and always with a smile on his face. And for that, Vittori will always be remembered as the modern great who put the gentleman back into the gentleman's game. We'd love to hear from you. If you would like to share your favourite Daniel Vittori moment, please drop us a line in the comments section below.